What if you needed a high-end GPU to help power your workloads, but didn't want to invest in the hardware, or you needed the ability to take that compute power with you on the go? My name is Eric the IT Guy Hendricks, and I'm an operations advocate here at Red Hat. Today, we are going to discuss deploying Red Hat Enterprise Linux as a cloud workstation on AWS. First, what is Red Hat Enterprise Linux for workstation? It allows you to incorporate some of the highest tier hardware, tie it to the Linux kernel, and put in an efficient desktop environment right on top. This allows you to use Linux as a foundation for animation, scientific calculations, CAD, and other demanding workloads. Whether you need a portable workstation, have a beefy desktop rig, or even need a remote platform, Red Hat Enterprise Linux for Workstation is an excellent choice. Don't just take our word for it, though. RHEL 9 is the operating system of choice for the Visual Effects VFX community and was named a part of the VFX reference platform in 2022. But why would you want to use Red Hat Enterprise Linux in a workstation setting? That's easy, to get all the features and benefits of running RHEL on a server right at your desk. You get a supported 10-year lifecycle, you get access to all of our hardware and software vendor partnerships, and finally, you get access to our amazing team of global enterprise support personnel. Not only do you get all of those awesome RHEL bits, but you also get the benefit of our friends in the upstream community. In fact, as of RHEL 9's release, Workstation was upgraded to GNOME 40. GNOME is a beautiful desktop environment with a smooth UI and stays out of your way while you work. GNOME 40 brings with it a refreshed look and improved accessibility features. Version 40 also enables Wayland, the long-anticipated compositor, by default. If you take a world-class Linux distribution, give it a 10-year life cycle, and the best open source projects available to support it, you end up with a workstation that is a real joy to work with. Couple that with our partnership with AWS, and you now have a powerful workstation that you connect to anywhere. RHEL for workstations on AWS utilizes nice DCV from remote connectivity, high-end NVIDIA GPUs, and all the deployment flexibility you would expect from a cloud provider. Ready to get started? Let's dive in. Red Hat has partnered with AWS to support RHEL for Workstation with your choice of either the grid or the Tesla driver set. Curious about the announcement or the different supported workloads? You can get more information about our offerings on this blog. We've included the link in the video description. To get started, you'll need to log into your AWS account. Make sure that you have your preferred data center already selected. The easiest way to track down these images is using the AMI catalog. Select AWS Marketplace AMIs and use a search box to find the RHEL grid image. You can see the details on recommended configuration, pricing and support options, but for today, we're just going to take the defaults. We need to provide some configuration information before we can connect to our instance. First, let's give our instance a human readable name. Next, let's verify that we have the correct Amazon machine image, AMI, selected. We'll take the default size, Make sure you have an SSH key pair set up with your AWS account. Then we'll keep the defaults for networking and storage. Once you're satisfied with your configuration, click Launch Instance. AWS will spin up an EC2 instance with the configuration and the image you selected. This only takes a couple of minutes. While the instance is loading, you can select it to get information like power state and public IP addresses. Give it a couple of minutes to boot up. The easiest way to track your system's progress is to use the circular refresh button in the top panel. Once initialization and AWS checks are complete, we can connect to our remote workstation. I have to admit to a little video production trickery here. There are a few steps that need to be executed from the command line that are not included in this video. To get the full details, head to the companion blog post linked in the description. The short version is connect to your instance using SSH, Ensure your EC2 user account has a password, and verify your workstation has all the needed system and driver updates. Hey, we had to do something to keep this tech tip video short. Now, I've already done all that work behind the scenes. I've also gone to my local system and downloaded the nice DCV Viewer client. It's available for Mac, Windows, and Linux. That way you can connect your RHEL workstation no matter where you are or what platform you're using. Just grab the public IP for your instance and click Connect. The default configuration allows us to provide a username and password to connect to the DCV session. If you're new to DCV, just think of it like an RDP or terminal session for AWS graphical systems. 
Once we have connected to the DCV session, we can put in our Linux username and password, just like if we are there at the physical terminal. We are now connected to our remote RHEL workstation. To wrap up this video, let's install Blender, an open source productivity tool. RHEL workstations lean heavily on flat packs to package graphical tools. So first, we need to configure the FlatHub repository, much like we would an RPM repo. Then we can install Blender and its dependencies using the flatpak install command. With Blender installed, we can click the activities or hit the super or Windows key to bring up our list of applications installed on our remote workstation. If we click on all applications, the grid of dots, we can either launch the application directly or we can search for it. Let's click Blender, accept the defaults, and open a blank VFX project. That's all there is to it. From here, you can use your mouse and keyboard, a trackpad, or even a stylus to do your graphically intensive workloads no matter where you are. If you'd like to learn more about Red Hat Enterprise Linux, you can start your free trial at redhat.com slash tryrel. Thank you so much for watching. Please let us know in the comments if there are other tech tips you would like to see. And be sure to subscribe to get more content just like this. Until next time. <laughs>